here today on the Hamble River, beautiful summer's day, on board Aeolus. She's a 1904 gaff cutter, built in California, 41 foot on deck, 65 foot length over spars. Here at the bows, see her bowsprit. With the heel fixed here with stainless steel straps. Nice bronze fair lead fittings. And here, stainless steel stem head, uh, four stay to the stem head, 7x19 wire. And this is a uh, diarchy system for the outer jib on a traveller. Here looking aft along the deck, you can see uh, her shape very typical of her period, quite long and lean, very elegant indeed. <coughs> Here you can see the fife rail around the mast, falls of the various running rigging. Uh, mix of bronze and oak belay pins. Here we've got the rigging on the port side. It's uh, dead eyes and lanyards. And the rigging is, uh, is all parceled and served, you can see here, to protect it. down at the deck. So the deck here, the outer deck is uh, very tight grain, quarter sawn pine of some sort, um, probably a, an Oregon or a Douglas fir type pine. And then the uh, sort of tow rails straight on the side here are actually built up of horizontal layers of the same pine fastened through, making them very substantial. The scuppers as you can see here carved into the bottom layer. There is then a sub deck of uh, straight laid wider TNG boards, pine boards, all fastened together making it very strong and very watertight. Here we have uh, gooseneck, mast bands, wooden hoops all leathered and stitched and uh, stainless steel gaff saddle, all leathered again. Good quality sails. The rig was redesigned for the current owner by the late Ed Burnett and uh, was completely redesigned to give a very comfortable, well-balanced rig. Moving aft is the uh, butterfly skylight which is combined into the companion hatch combings and then after the cockpit here we got the main mast running backstays it's on a three to one purchase and then uh, further aft is the top mast running backstays on a two to one purchase. Aft here into the cockpit. There's the uh, rudder stock and bronze fittings here on deck. Again, nice bronze fair leads and fittings and bronze fitting off for the main sheet, double tailed main sheet. Makes off to these quarter posts. And here are the uh, top mast running backstays. 
and you can see on the outside here these are the uh, bronze chain plates looking forward here along the deck and the sliding hatch going down below Here we are down below on Aeolus because of our hull shape. It's a very Victorian design. It's quite narrow in the beam, quite slack in the bilges, which is evident here where you can see the, the fall of the uh, fall of the hull. Here in the main saloon, it's got uh, settee berth either side, about six foot six length. Varnish mahogany saloon table here folds up and then either side here is a uh, pipe cot berth that folds out again six foot six in length that's the evidence of all the uh, the major rebuilds that she had is a uh, new beam shelf this is in our roco or rather the beam shelf here this is the clamp right the way through new deck beams and the new laid deck. So under the cabin sole here, she's got about six tons of lead ingots and uh, more ballast below that. She, because of the hull shape, she relies quite heavily on her ballast to uh, give her the stability that she needs. Uh, moving forward here into the galley area. Sink to port with a manual bronze tap, various bits of storage space, and so on here. And here to starboard is the galley with a portable gas stove, drawers, various lockers. Up here you can see these recently fitted metal fabrications um, giving a lot of strength to the hull so fasten through the clamp and fasten through the hull tying the deck down in and supporting the hull in way of the chain plates. Here's obviously the mast down to a mast step which is a very long mast step spreading the loads of the uh, of the rig. Here to port is the heads compartment with the manual sea toilet discharges directly overboard no holding tank and again you can see another one of these new metal hanging knees giving a lot of rigidity and stiffness to the hull moving forward here we've got shells on the starboard side more storage space and a v-berth up here in the forepeak and underneath here is an enormous storage locker goes right down to the keel tons of space for spare anchors warps fenders all the stuff you don't want kicking around on deck or in the cabin even though the hull is slatted out either side it's uh, the, there's gaps between the slats so it's very well ventilated so you don't get damp or anything trapped in behind causing trouble with the structure this bulkhead here is quite structural. You can see there's big Iroco knees fitted in and then this is a plywood bulkhead laminated either side in three quarter inch mahogany. So that is then in turn tied into this big heavy ring frame. So it's providing an awful lot of stiffness here in where the mast. Moving back through the cabin. Back through the galley into the saloon there are lockers fold out underneath here it's giving you again lots of storage space here's a 
skylight above the saloon. You have about five foot ten headroom here in the saloon under the beams and then in the galley where the deck's rising is about six foot three. So pretty decent headroom. Aft here there's the companion hatch and companion steps. Here's the chart desk here to starboard facing aft. Um, flag locker and your various instruments, engine controls and your switch panels. This uh, folds down there to cover your switches. Um, underneath here is a battery box, a manual bilge pump and access to the bilge. And the Volvo Penta diesel engine here under the box at the bottom of the companion steps. There's a hanging area with hooks. It's usually where your oil skins and bits and pieces go so they don't get traked through the whole boat. And then moving aft into the aft cabin. There's two single berths. One slightly shorter one, about five foot seven and one at six foot. There's good access under this hatch down here. You can get to the stone gland and uh, open hatches either side of the aft end, giving you access up into the counter. So there's good ventilation. It means there's no horrible damp areas getting left and forgotten where rock can fester. So with these two berths here, does make a total of technically eight berths. There we are looking forward through the companion steps. And back up the steps, out on deck. <laughs> 